Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Runum 4, where we resume our exploration of Koth's Lair right where we last left off. So we've opened one of these little chambers with uh, an arcane tome. There's at least one more, but we've only seen about half of this level yet. And, well, we'll see if there's... Hi. Horton. Wait, what? Horton? Horton. Horton? Um, Horton. Who, who the heck is Horton? At first you wonder how a lone human would survive down here and get here. And you think that when he approaches you with arms outstretched, he is coming to greet you and thank you for his, for his rescue. Then you see that he is very pale, even by Avernite standards, and he has red stains around his mouth and fangs. Okay. So, uh, Vampire Horton. Huh, wait. Hold on, hold on. It, it said only Horton before, right? And his name changed to Vampire Horton, I think? Hold on a second. Yes, it just says Horton, neutral. I mean, knowing that we have a vampire fight coming up, I guess I'll do at least that. Huh, yep, vampire Horton. Same hit points, though. Well, that's kind of funny. I wonder, have we seen someone named Horton? Was, was there a place named Horton's Stead or something? I feel like that's uh, that's an NPC from from the past of the series, and I'm just not I'm just failing to remember exactly why this name seems so familiar. As usual, feel free to to jog my memory. Okay, magic works very well, very well indeed. I mean, if he... Okay, he summons things. Lots of things. Wow. An excessive amount of things. But other than that, he's not that bad. I guess I could be using her undead smiting thing. Actually, that should work against a vampire. Come to think of it, I misclicked, unfortunately. And now he's just gonna die normally. Okay, well... I'm assuming it would have worked against the vampire. Uh, is this gonna die? Well, it will when we do this. Wait. Well, it should die from acid next turn. And he's... Running away. That sucks. Except... Uh, no, you know what? I'm not gonna... Waste my turn. Whoop, that's not what I meant to do. Kinda worked out. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm, I, I wasn't... Or I was about to cure his fear, but... I figured it's probably not very necessary. Oh, he's... I didn't realize he was afraid too. That's... bad. Oh, he's... now he's afraid too. Okay. These things suck a lot. Please, just leave me alone, guys. I guess I could have gone a lot worse if they... if the vampire hadn't died when it did. I suppose I also, you know, if I wasn't so afraid about or so... Uh, careful to preserve my... few remaining points of energy, I uh, could have dealt with that whole situation a lot more efficiently. A lot more quickly. So these bodies here, I guess they were just uh, sucked dry and left. Oh, energy! Thank you. Thank you, Benevolent Game. Gonna use some of that right away to uh, patch us up. Alright, cool. And we have another lever here. Well, let's see if that... That did not open that, so... Hi. Presumably it opened some other... little... Uh, pedestal room. So there was one of those really strong double attacks 
Oh, Salamander again. Okay, we opened this one here. There's another body, one that actually has stuff. Blessed helmet. Yeah, sure, I guess I'll take that for possibly selling in the future. Uh, when Koth abandoned his lair, blah, 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 the chants are written in an old obscure dialect, but you're able to comprehend a small section. Uh, you learn powerful prayers which call allies to aid you in battle. Meh. Divine host. Thanks, I guess. Okay, that was one of those. Still good, but not nearly as devastating attacks again. Really wonder what's up with that. Maybe maybe a hundred is basically a critical hit. And maybe when one when when the first attack crits the uh, additional quick attack hit also automatically crits. That's that might actually be, actually be what's going on. No, that's not gonna work. You know what? Just leave it to Mike. And dark, I guess. And it took an excessive amount of acid damage. Wonderful. Okay, gold necklace. Take it. Oh, hi. Nalgu. Okay, multiple Nalgus. Oh no. Oh my god. What the heck? There are way more than I thought there were. And this is a problem, potentially. Try to stun them. Okay, that actually worked. Kind of amazed that it did. Uh, heal, and hopefully that's going to be enough. Okay. Haste. They might do something nasty when they die, as these uh, kinds of slimes have been known to do occasionally. I, uh, oh, well, that's not... Mm, that's not the button I meant to press, I meant to heal, and instead I buffed and he died. Yep, that's what just happened. We all saw that. Did I quick save recently? Because I, I'd rather not spend 25 mana on resurrection. Eh, I think I'm gonna roll with it for now. Let's see. Okay, uh, magic actually works exceptionally well as I kind of expected. Now let's just do the right thing. God damn it, this, the damage they deal is insane. Oh, and they all woke up too. <sighs> heal. To heal or not to heal? That is the question. I could try dazing them again. Are they going to get that turn before Mario does? How much health do they even have? Not that much. I'm hoping that when I get a chance to... Uh, when, when he gets a chance to act before they do, that I'm just going to, uh, you know, do... Um, Lightning spray and kill them all? Not entirely sure if that's going to work. They might be resistant to lightning for all I know. They, but if they are not specially resistant to it, they might actually die. Uh, they might take enough damage from it, judging by the fireball damage. Uh, risky. Got a mass heal here. That kind of worked. Okay. Oof. I am surprised we survived that. And the damage is about as good as I hoped. It did not quite finish them off though, so thankfully we were fine. Even so. Okay, that was nasty. That was really nasty. Um, yeah, return. Oh, that cost 50! That. Wow. Uh, okay, it's, it's fine. It's what it is. I guess I'll accept it. Thankfully that was all of them, so and that's a small consolation. I spell group heal. Uh, do we not... Oh, she has all of those. Have I found myself wanting... wishing I had more... I had some way to heal on some other party member? Uh, possibly? Maybe even on him? 
I'm going to hand some of those over. Yeah, okay, that does not encumber him at all. It's fine. Lightning and Ice Bull, I mean, yeah, no. Oh, hey, when Koth abandoned his lair, he must have had to leave some of his precious books behind. This is one of the few that has survived the use of neglect. It's a very odd work. It looks like it was dictated by Koth himself. It looks like Koth was trying to find easy ways to translate draconic script into human writing. This is a huge and fairly detailed first draft. Far too heavy for you to carry it with you. Oh, that's a bummer. However, remembering what you learned about Lark's scrolls, like five years ago when we started our adventure, it is in fact... Uh, wait... No, uh, you, you take out the paper she gave you and set to work trying to decipher it. I oh, mean, you know what? This is something I would love to do in real life. That that would be absolutely my jam. <laughs> uh, it is, in fact, not difficult. Most uh, not difficult, and most of the stuff on the scrolls are magical formulae. Uh, you only have to decipher the introduction and the instructions between to figure uh, between the figure between the figure to make sense of the scrolls. Okay. Fortunately, you are not just useless. <laughs> Well, fortunately, they are not just useless notes or ramblings. They are part of an old spellbook. After a long period of analysis, you think that you will be able to translate the scrolls in her home. Wow, okay. Is this another mana refill? No, it's a blessing. Thanks, I guess? That's not going to last long enough to be useful, though. Probably. Also, I should definitely be... Healing at least a little bit. Oops. Yeah, this costs two, and the heavy, the strong healing is eight, so I can cast four of these for each one of the stronger ones. So yeah, that was definitely the better, the most, the more efficient way. I mean, yeah. So two small heals heal for at least as much as one of the bigger heals. So the bigger ones really are only should only be used in combat when I need to heal a lot at once. But efficiency-wise, uh, the small healing is uh, the minor heal is still better. That's what I thought, uh, but I you know just want to reconfirm that. Uh, I was gonna say how how this room looked suspiciously empty, but of course. Uh, yeah, well. To the south, you can see a deep dark pool. The water looks fresh. It must connect to the nearby river somehow. Are we actually going to be finding, finding some tentacle beast? There are lots of interesting items along the shore. They are fragments of eggshells, gnawed hmm. bones, deposits of slime and shed scales. Those are interesting items. Uh, well, I suppose, in a way. Bowls, some of which are still full of rotten food. There are also many deep scratches on the stone floor by the water, where large clawed creatures hauled themselves out of the water and back again. Hmm. So maybe not the tentacle water monsters, but something else. Though the cave is abandoned now, it looks like a lot of work took place here recently. This may be one of the places where the sea monsters that torment Avernum were bred and fed. Really? But aren't they some kind of... I mean, I guess they might have tentacles and claws? Still, I was thinking more of something like giant krakens. Huh, okay. This book is written in Vanatai script. It is full of magical notes as well as sketches of strange tentacled creatures. Huh. Okay, so maybe they do have tentacles and claws. The book seems to be about the monsters that live in the waters of Avernum, destroying boats at will. You are able to understand a few small sections in it. Apparently the monsters are huge and powerful, but they are also delicate. They need to be fed and looked after. Uh, they need to be fed and looked after. And they are, there are spells that need to be cast on a regular basis to maintain their strength. This is heartening news. Perhaps if Renta Irno and her allies are destroyed, the monsters will weaken on their own. It's a good sign that this site has been abandoned. Oh, okay. Well, fully expecting something to burst out of the water to attack me, but I'm glad to be wrong in this case. Okay, hold on a second, Ice Ward. I'm gonna just see. Okay, looks like there are two more event chambers, and there is. Uh, right, there is one more book to find there and to unlock. So one of these rooms is gonna. Whoops. Sticky key. Um, one of the two rooms is going to have another lever. Gangrenous shamblers. We've we've seen these before, I think. Um, gangrenous. Not sure if they're the same ones that were near Erika's tower. 
and even then, okay, there's the lever. Uh, even then, I'm not entirely sure what their resistances were or what was especially nasty about them, if anything. Eh, sure, I guess I'm gonna haste everybody. Okay, they are resistant to physical attacks. Plus, they have a ton of hit points. So, not the great combo, but it's fine. Attack power, and I guess for good measure I'm also going to increase defense. Can't see that giant? Really? Okay, they do take magical damage. As is usually the case. Yeah. Thankfully, most enemies that are resistant to physical are vulnerable to magic and vice versa, or else, you know. Thanks for standing close together. That actually helps quite a bit. Just wait, and you do this. Oh, right. He parried from behind. In fact, he reposted. Ouch. Thankfully, they, them being the large and shambling creatures that they are, they don't have a ton of hit points, uh, a ton of uh, action points, I should say. Okay, so that was uh, pretty manageable. All right. Protected from enemy attacks. I guess we'll see if we can make use of that. Lich, Anastasia, and a bunch of different wards. Energy ward, fire ward, disruption ward. Disruption sounds bad. Steel ward. Does that mean that they are protected from whatever their name is? Hmm. Or is that their element? Lich Anastasia, is that the real boss here? Hmm. I guess there might just be multiple real bosses. You enter the largest hall in the ruins. Okay, no, never mind. That, if anything, then this is the final boss here. This must be where Koth himself spent most of his time, reading and thinking. And it is here that the master of these ruins spends its time. It's a lich, the living corpse of a powerful wizard. Uh, oh, wait, Anastasia? Anastasia. Wasn't, wasn't there a powerful mage named Anastasia at some point? Again, my horrible memory fails me. But that definitely does seem to ring a bell. I mean, it's very possible that the name Anastasia just a appeared at some point in the in the series. Um, she might not necessarily have been a mage, but I mean, it would make a lot of sense, right, to have a former character uh, show up again in this kind of form. So I'm assuming that it's probably that I'm probably not just making that up. Anyway, either way, we have to deal with her in her current uh, current form. It's a lich, yeah. Uh -huh. Maintaining assistance even after death. The rituals to become a lich are closely guarded secrets, difficult and deadly. Most who try to attain lichdom usually end up dead in the ordinary sense. Those that succeed become awesomely powerful. Uh, it is such a creature that before, uh, that faces you now. It looks irritated. What? Who dares disturb my, the meditations of lich Anastasia? You haven't come to buy my help, have you? I tire of dealing with mortals. Uh... By your help? What do you mean? Are you not like the Vanatai, come to rent protected space and guidance? They they rented protected space from you? Really? Is that... Okay. Um, that sounds so mundane. But I guess uh, even a lich has to live somehow? Not really, actually. Hmm, whatever. Uh, I am at times willing to give my services in return for special, rare gifts and scrolls and considerations, but not right now. You help the Vanatai? Yes, they are Rentar Irno. She has some skill, but the problem of creating the beasts of the water was beyond her, so she shared Vanatai secrets with me in return for my aid. Oh, interesting. So, I guess those sea creatures were not really of Vanatai make, but rather from <laughs> created by a subcontractor. And where are the Vanatai now? 
I tired of their presence and banished them, as I will soon banish you, having them near me all the hours, hearing their work, their chatter, I tired of it. I expressed my desire for them to leave. Some of them survived that, and they left. Okay. Um, enough talk. I mean, I'm pretty sure that even if I if I picked option number one here, she would just um, get annoyed at me and attack anyway. So, enough talk. I will now destroy you and take your things. I have dealt with adventurers for my whole existence. Many have tried to hunt me. All have failed. You wish to seize Koth's lair for your own? Try to harm me if you can. That's the plan, lady. I mean, having said that, uh, I suppose we're still in decent shape. Our buffs are still up. Um, not sure about that protection buff we picked up over here. If that is even still active, it's hard to tell. Um, but we are still hasted. We do still have attack going and our long-term buffs. Uh, mana is, you know, not looking amazing, but we will be able to refill. I'm going to do the smart thing and give us the magical protection that we're going to need against a bunch of magical creatures here. Also, um, that is one energy potion. One single energy potion. And she has a total of 18 energy elixirs, so I think she should actually share some of those. Okay, still not encumbered. These are, okay, only 0.1 per. Um, why don't you drink one of those? They're not stored, restored more than I thought. Over 100, actually. Not bad. Okay, let's see here. Ice Ward. Steel Ward. Uh, I'm gonna assume that the Steel Ward is protected from uh, from physical attacks, you know, and so on and so forth. I'm not sure about the disruption one though. Or you know what? Them being wards might be that they each uh, give her that particular resistance, so long as they live. That would make sense, wouldn't it? They're all hasted. That sucks. Um. This one is gonna die from acid, so... Okay. They... Okay. Why did they all skip their turns? Because this one is definitely attacking. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna question it. I am... Oh, that's a single target. Okay, well... It said she slowed. I'm gonna take the game's word for it. I see. I see no reason not to focus on uh, taking out these various wards first. It seems like the smart thing to do. I'm surprised it's. It seems to be as easy as uh, as it is. How strong is she? Why? Okay, there we go, finally. The Lich shudders. Okay, yeah, I didn't see that. It must have said that message every single time I killed one of these. So she has over a thousand hit points, which is a lot, no doubt. Mm. What? No, that's... Oh, okay, that's fine. Parries the attack. 20% chance. Fine. Might as well start poisoning her, though. Uh, just wait. Just making sure none of the vital buffs have run out. So now all of her wards are destroyed. Of course. Parry twice in a row, as expected. Oh, and she keeps summoning a random one, maybe? That's a fire ward, okay. You know what? That's okay. <sighs> Seriously. 
I just don't think those numbers are actually true. But that's okay. Um, she's completely out of mana. I really don't want to drink a mana potion when the boss is this close to death. So I hope this doesn't doom me, but also just use your stronger spell there. Please hit her. Okay, well, that was a lot easier than I thought. I would not have been surprised at all if she had if she ended up having some sort of extra trick up her sleeve. But she did not apparently. Crystalline Aegis. Aegis? Aegis? I don't know. Um Don't know if the armor is good compared to other shields. Might be a little bit on the lower side. Oh actually, hold on, this is a totally a mage's shield. Wow. Okay. Okay, hold on. In fact, <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, arcane lore, majory, magical efficiency, that will help her just as well as the mage. Uh, that being said, oh, I think I'm going to put this on him, right? Oh, except, of course that's more heavy. That's a lot heavier. 16 versus 8. Oh my god, no. This is where he needs more strength again. And yeah. Well, one more level up and we can increase strength again, but... Also, yeah, he has these that give him minus to the strength. Mm, bummer. You know what? Okay, that's fine. I can just give this to her and... It's okay. Majory, Magical Efficiency, Arcane Lore, which I don't think we need it anymore, but yeah. Honestly, you know what, that's perfectly, perfectly fine. I'm gonna take it. Now, what else do we get here? Uh, so scrolls. Group Haste. Mass Bless. Still haven't used that. Maybe one of these days. Wait. Uh, I don't know what I just picked up. I wasn't paying attention, I was looking somewhere else. That's fine. Um, got another focusing crystal, a lamp, energy elixir, hey, useful. Uh, I suppose he can take that. There you go. So, what's up with these? Probably bad. Uh, oh, insight. Magical energy is drained. Eh, you know what, that's fine. Except it's not? Hold on. Uh oh, now I don't know if I saved the game. No, I did save recently. Yeah, of course, I saved before drinking from these pools. Because I'm smart. Of course, the game had. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Has this, this drake been wandering around randomly this whole time and I just happened to miss it? I don't think so. Also, it's not nearly as tough as I thought it was. I thought this was the game spawning another, you know, one final nasty enemy on me. But actually that was extremely disappointingly weak. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. the chants are written in old obscure dialect, but you're able to comprehend a small section of it. You learn powerful prayers which channel your energy to heal your allies. Divine restoration, okay. I mean, as super expensive as that spell is, it's also really powerful and can come in very handy. So I'm glad to have that improved and made more efficient that way. Awesome! So we did get the translation for those scrolls, we did get a bunch of levels, we actually got some nice uh, some very nice uh, upgrades here. This Talisman of Might, I like that a lot. And there's the super powerful caster shield actually, that's uh, quite amazing. So yeah, super happy with that. How that turned out. Now, and before there is actually some final nastiness happening. No, really? Are we good? Are we free to leave at this point? Oh. Amazing. Now we know that there is there are some nasties waiting just around the corner here. I saw like a patrolling uh, gazer and I don't know what else. Something something nasty. And of course we got more postulant reds. 
for good measure. I am going to return to civilization now, and uh, there are actually a few things I want to do. Well, first of all, first we're going to make it back to Barga and sell a few things, I guess. That's not a huge priority, but I am going to do that. And then we're going to return to uh, the lady. Actually, I have no idea where she even was. Translate the scrolls. Lark, the hedge wizard of Fort Monastery. Oh, right. All the way back there. Yeah, so we're definitely going to return to Fort Monastery and finally finish that quest at long, long last. But there's also one other thing that I was actually considering or was actually thinking about doing um, first first thing in this episode before even returning to Kothslayer. But I figured that, you know, I was going to... I wanted to to uh, finish that place, of course, not never never suspecting that we'd have to go through all the Kytrex again, but, well, that's fine. But, um, no. yeah, I figured that we'd uh, finish the dungeon anyway and probably find a way to translate those scrolls, and uh, then we'd have to, or that we'd want to return to civilization anyway, so that's why I held off on it. But, uh, yeah, now that we are returning to the rest of Avernum, there is one thing I want to check. I guess I could just tell you outright, instead of being mysteriously vague for no real reason, but, uh, you know, then again. Then again. They, right, they do have a pylon down here, conveniently. Fort Monastery. Man, I haven't been there in forever. Oh, Hedge Wizard. Shrine, Smithy, Supplies, Dining Hall, Lark's Office, hey! Hello, Lark. Lark smiles. She's unusually friendly for a practitioner of her craft. I have been to Koth's lair, finally. I know how to decipher the scrolls. And do it, please. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, me too. Oh, the scrolls are here. Oh. Wait, no, that's not That's not it at all. Uh, where are the scrolls? What? I've been to Koth's lair. Uh, wait, what? No. Um, what? Strange. Maybe someone. What? How? Services. Shop. No. Uh. How do I do it? This is probably something super trivial. I mean, obviously it is. Uh oh. Do I have the scrolls? I mean, I don't know. Do I have the scrolls in my special items? <sighs> Copy of scrolls. Uh, well, that was just a sample, though, to to show to people, to ask them for help. Um, game, you could. Be giving me a bit more of a hint here. Sure, this is not supposed to be difficult. Where are her scrolls? This is not it, clearly. The quick spell button. Um, um, was there, like, an underground section? Or something. What was that? Secret tunnel. No, that's just how we got to. Yeah, that's, that were those were our quarters. This is just a way to into some kind of goblin lair or something. It's nothing to do with the scrolls, I think. Uh, okay. Um, hold on a second. I'm just gonna look around more. Maybe just straight up look it up. 
because I feel very silly right now. Okay, uh, so it's pretty much exactly as I expected. So the, the scrolls are somewhere here in Fort Monastery, um, and you know, it's just a matter of uh, getting the quest and doing all the the initial interactions, like uh, I don't know, 60 in-game hours ago, and probably like three in three real world months ago so obviously i don't remember any of the details at all but yeah it's just a matter of going back to where the actual scrolls are and i'm not entirely sure i've read that they're supposed to be in some kind of storage room not in here apparently it has to be something i can click on nope not in here uh oh Maybe it's just her room, so maybe it's just one of these rooms here. It might actually be this one. Oh yeah, okay, I think it's this one. Yeah, okay. Oh boy, that was uh, that was something. The box contains about a dozen scrolls. They are very, very old and brittle and covered in writing in some strange archaic language. Yes, draconic, actually. Read them. You carefully pick up and inspect the scrolls. Thanks to what you learned in Koth's Ruins, you are able to decipher them. It takes a while, but you manage it. You're surprised to find that these scrolls are not junk. Exactly the opposite. They describe magical spells, powerful ancient ones, the sort of intense magic heavily restricted by the Empire. Not all of the secrets within are comprehensible to you. They will take inspection by skilled and careful researchers. However, you are able to figure out two of the spells right away. Your skill with the spell's arcane shield? Oh, that's good. And divine retribution increases. And not as useful. Arcane Shield could actually come in handy quite a bit. Nice. You know what? I'm not going to lie. After this super, super long quest that spanned from the very beginning to the very, well, almost the very end of the game, I was expecting something more substantial than just two spell increases. But, uh, well, we'll see. Maybe Lark is going to give us something more, you know, something, something extra. I deciphered the scrolls. Yes, I did. Well, okay, someone leveled up. That's something. Oh my, those are powerful spells, far beyond my control. As soon as I leave here, I will turn them over to the mages of the Tower Colony. They will be able to use that power to aid and defend Avernum. Well, hopefully, so long as they're... as they don't decide to, uh, you know, summon any demons or something. This is a remarkable achievement. The Empire makes it very difficult for Evernights to learn more about magical rituals of this power. You've done us all a great service. Well, thank you. Mike leveled up. Hey, congrats, Mike. Uh, well, I could not really do anything useful. Yeah, but one more knowledge brew or something, uh, and we're going to be able to increase pull weapons again. So that's nice. All right, awesome. That quest is finally completed, um, which means. Honestly, oh, hey, Abyss Report. Uh, well, we can definitely give him that now. Didn't I? I, I want to know. I, re I know I returned to Levitt at some point, but I guess not after talking to both uh, Abyss leaders. So that's actually something I can still do, for sure. So I will. Let's just get that out of the way, and maybe we can report some other things as well. Probably not, but uh, at, at least we can finish that quest. And maybe he's going to have an additional one for us after that. So, the castle. Alright. I'll have to take the very roundabout way again. That's just how it is. Hey boss, Levitt asks you many questions about the current state of the Abyss settlements, defenses, current activity, and so on. Then he has a pouch of gemstones brought to you. I hope this pays for your time. Um, okay. I didn't think that was just going to be handled without any real dialogue like this, but that's okay. Thanks for the gemstones. Mm, you want me to go where the map indicates? Of course. I don't know what you might find there. But if you find any loyalists, they should be killed. Any clues you find should be brought to me. Is this... I don't know if this is referring to... 
the Erika's Tower area, or just something older. Should make haste, I feel we're digging closer and closer to the rotten heart of their band of traitors. But groups like this, they can fade away in a moment. I only hope you can find Dorikas before he goes around. Goes to ground. Okay, yeah, we definitely have not found Dorikas. Yeah, okay, Erika's Star, I see. So we are still we still have that quest, except wait, hold on. Do we Oh well, I'm dumb. Of course we have that quest. Derp. Never mind, we had that all along. I don't know why I thought that that I didn't. Again, I mean it's it's possible that, for example, you were watching these videos all back to back, but I typically, you know, go several days in between recordings and this entire series has spent months. So yeah, there are there's some significant time passing between certain events and my memory is really, really awful. I can't stress that enough. So yeah, I'm sorry. I guess that doesn't make things less frustrating, but uh, that is the explanation, the best explanation I can give. Uh, and, uh oh, where where do I want to go, actually, to do the thing that I... You know what? Actually, at this point, uh, we... I don't know, I forgot to stop my timer while I was doing that quick googling a moment ago. But I think we should have crossed the 40 minute mark and you know what I'm gonna end the episode here um, and I'm gonna leave that thing I was thinking about doing and being so vague about I'm gonna leave that for next episode if it turns out to actually work out the way I hope it does I'm gonna go to that place off camera and see if something actually happens and if it doesn't I guess I'm gonna tell you what my idea was, but we're, I'm not gonna waste any time actually trying to do it on camera. But um, maybe it works, and then we're gonna do that next time. So stay tuned, I guess. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, did please hit the right button. Blah. If you did, please hit the like button. The right like button, whatever. Um, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye. That was horrible. <laughs>